The regional coordinator for the Nile Equatorial Lake Subsidiary Action Program, Dr. Isaac Arikwe, has said the Uganda South Sudan Power Project is to cost between two three million US dollars with support from development partners. Uh, this particular budget is uh, distributed between the two countries. Uganda will be given a loan by the African Development Bank of 148 million US dollars. South Sudan is going to be given a um, uh, a grant. Uh, one portion of the grant will come from uh, the European Union, which is going to provide a grant of about a hundred million. Then the African Development Bank is going to to give a, a grant of about uh, 59 million. Then there is a difference of 25 million, uh, which the country must uh, contribute as a sign of ownership uh, to the project. Power interconnection between countries offers significant economic benefits such as sharing infrastructure, reduced redundancy and lower overall costs. Investment in large-scale power plants, transmission lines and other infrastructure can lead to economies of scale. This rationale underpins NELSAP's decision to implement the 400 kV power interconnection line between Uganda and South Sudan. Dr. Isaac Arikwe highlighted the numerous benefits the project will bring to both Uganda and South Sudan. As you know, the electricity access in South Sudan is still at a very low level. The last time I checked, uh, the access was at 7%, and this is the lowest in the region. So this transmission uh, line connecting the two countries will help improve electrification, both urban and the rural. And this will contribute, of course, to economic, socioeconomic development, including industrialization uh, within the urban areas and, and, and even the rural areas of South Sudan. And towards the same, uh, of course, now with industrialization, economic development, opening up more opportunities, job opportunities and, and uh, business opportunities for the communities in South Sudan, and even the revenue for South Sudan itself. To Uganda, it would be an opportunity for them to offload the excess energy that they may not need for their local consumption. And of course, that will generate revenue for the Uganda Electricity Transmission Company Limited. The power line will play a crucial role in the interconnectivity of networks, which is vital for strengthening the African power pool. That is the Northern Africa power pool and the Eastern Africa power pool, Southern Africa power pool, even the Central Africa power pool. Uh, when you connect Ethiopia with South Sudan and you connect South Sudan with Uganda, you have already looped the East Africa power pool. And uh, when you connect Sudan and Egypt to South Sudan and Ethiopia, you've looped it with the North Africa power pool. And when you connect this line through Uganda uh, to Tanzania and then Tanzania to Zambia, you have connected it also to the Southern Africa Power Pool. This is a very uh, uh, instrumental network uh, that is going to, to loop. And when you connect uh, the Uganda with Rwanda uh, through uh, Shangombarara, you have connected it to the uh, Rusumo network that is going up to, up to Tanzania. And when you connect it as well, with Chango Goma, you have connected to the Central Africa uh, Power Pool. The Regional Power Program Officer for NELSAP, Engineer Jacob Deng, emphasized the importance of the African Power Pool in transferring energy resources between countries to spur economic growth and development. Adia Nakuti, UBC.